Hello everyone and today it's Wednesday and today I want to go over a little bit about um, Australia and learning about the animals that are there and some very interesting um, animals in Australia. Um, don't forget you're, you're all working on your postcard that you're going to create. You're going to design and draw the cover of it. You're also going to incorporate language arts and you're going to kind of write a um, letter to someone back over here as if you are visiting Australia. So don't forget that. Um, so I think it's gonna be really neat. And you are going to um, use color pencils or you can use markers, however, but I think color pencils will give you a rich effect um, to get some shading in there. And our central question is how can we incorporate um, cultural concepts in our artistic designs or in our artwork? And the reason how, and the way you're gonna use cultural influences is by learning about the culture and getting some of those things and then putting that in your composition. So. Let's go to work. Let's look at um, this cool country. I'm going to share my screen with you. So let's learn a little bit about these animals. Due to millions of years of isolation, Australia is home to many unique species of plants and animals. Interestingly, more than 80% of Australia's animals and plants found nowhere else in the world. Here the list of 9 amazing Australian animals. Number 1, Dingo. Dingo is an amazing wild dog found in Australia. The first British colonists to arrive in 1788 established a settlement at Port Jackson and recorded dingoes living there with indigenous Australians. Although the dingo exists in the wild, it associates with humans but has not been selectively bred similarly to other domesticated animals. The dingo's three main coat colors are described as being either light ginger, black and tan, or creamy white. They hunt alone or in groups. The group attack from dingoes normally happens to kill a larger prey like kangaroos. The diet of dingoes consists of rabbits, rats, wallaby, magpie goose and kangaroos. The dingo could be considered as an ecotype or an eco-species which has adapted to Australia's unique environment. It is listed as a vulnerable species on the IUCN Red List due to declining numbers caused by hybridization with the domestic dog. Number 2, Greater Bilby. Greater Bilby is a ground-dwelling omnivorous animal that endemic to Australia. They inhabit in woodlands and semi-arid shrublands. The Greater Bilby measure up to 55 cm in length and between 0.5 and 2.5 kg in weight. They are famed for their pointed snout and long ears. The soft, silky coat of greater bilbies are blue-gray in color. The female bilbies are smaller than the males. Greater bilbies are solitary animals and they come together only during mating season. Greater bilbies are powerful diggers and live in long, deep burrows. The burrows of greater bilbies can be up to 3 meters in length. So that greater bilbies can't be easily found by predators like dingoes, red foxes, or feral cats. They are nocturnal creatures and only come out at night to find food. They spend whole daytime in resting in their long burrows. Greater bilbies mainly feed on fruits, seeds, larvae, and fungi. Number 3, Black Swan. The black swans are large water birds that mainly found in wetlands and fresh waters in southern Australia. As the name suggests its body is almost black with white wingtips. They also have striking red bills. The large black swans have a length between 1 and 1.4 meters and weigh up to 9 kilograms. The wingspan of black swans measure between 1.5 and 2 meters. Black swans breed between February and September. During this period, they build nests using grasses and weeds. They lay four eggs in the breeding seasons and incubate them for 30 to 45 days. After breeding season, black swans undergo molting and it will over a month for the regrowth. The black swan is unlike any other Australian bird, although in poor light and at long range it may be confused with the magpie goose in flight. However, the black swan can be distinguished by its much longer neck and slower wind beat. Number 4, Echidna. Echidna is a small primitive found mainly in Australia. Their small body is covered with both fur and spines. The spines of echidnas are actually modified hair made of keratin. These long spines help the echidnas to defend against the predators. Echidnas are also known for their long snout. When sensing the danger from predators like dingoes, feral cats, or red foxes, the echidnas will curl into a ball like a shape and expose their long spines. Echidnas are also known as spiny anteater because they have sticky, 
long tongue like an anteater and they use it to catch ants and termites. They also have no teeth. Echidnas and the platypus are the only ant-laying mammals, known as monotremes. The average lifespan of an echidna in the wild is estimated around 16 years. When fully grown a female can weigh up to 4.5 kilograms and a male can weigh up to 6 kilograms. Number 5, Wombat. Wombat is a strange looking animal native to southeastern Australia. They live in open grasslands or mountainous areas. There are three species of wombats in total bare-nosed wombat and two hairy-nosed wombats. Wombats grow between 30 inches and 45 inches and weigh up to 36 kilograms. Their fur comes in gray, brown or black in color. Wombats live in burrows. With the strong front teeth and powerful claws they can make burrows up to the length of one meter. The hairy-nosed wombats are very social and live in colonies. But the bare-nosed wombats are solitary and they dig their own burrows. With the powerful legs, the wombats can reach up to a speed of 25 miles per hour. Wombats are nocturnal creatures which forage for food only at night. Their diet consists of grasses, roots, sedges, and roots. Wombats typically live up to 15 years in the wild, but can live past 20 and even 30 years in captivity. The longest lived captive wombat lived to 34 years of age. Number 6, Emu. Standing at a height of 6 feet and weigh between 54 kilograms and 58 kilograms, the emu is Australia's largest living bird. It is also the third biggest bird, after South Cassowary and Ostrich. This flightless bird found in woodlands, grasslands, and forests of Australia. Emus have a long neck with a sharp beak. Their feather is soft and light brown in color. The legs are long and strong with three toes on each foot. Emus also have long, sharp talons on each foot which help them to fight against the predators. With the strong legs, emus can hit a speed of 30 miles per hour. They are also excellent swimmers. They mate during summer and lay 8 to 10 dark green colored eggs. The incubation by the male bird lasts for about 8 weeks. Emus are omnivorous birds, which mean they eat both plants and animals. They mainly feed on flowers, rodents, buds, insects, and lizards. Like ostriches, the emus also swallow small rocks to grind the food. Number 7, Platypus. The platypus is one of the most unusual and strange looking animals in the world. Because they have flat bill like a duck, a tail like a beaver and a body like an otter. This strange but amazing platypuses are endemic to eastern Australia. An adult platypus measure 12 to 15 inches in length and up to 2.4 kilograms in weight. They have very dense, thick, waterproof fur that help their body to remain warm in the water. Platypus also have webbed feet like a duck which aid in swimming. The suck-like flat bill of platypuses is actually a sensory organ which features thousands of receptors. It allows platypuses to detect the prey such as shellfishes or shrimps. Unlike females, the male platypuses are very dangerous, because only they have venom producing spurs on the hind legs. This venom is not lethal to humans but very painful. Platypuses belong to family of egg-laying mammals known as monotremes. There are only two living monotremes in the world platypus and echidna. Number 8, Koala. Koala is a tree-dwelling animal native to Australia. This cute creature has strong resemblance with bears, but it is actually a marsupial mammal. They found in eucalyptus forests and woodlands of southeastern Australia. Koalas can be reached 24 to 35 inches in length and weigh up to 15 kilograms. Koalas are renowned for their thick, woolly fur that comes in gray or reddish brown in color. Koala is a nocturnal animal. They spend most of their lifetime in resting on trees. In fact, koalas are well adapted to life on trees. The strong limbs aid in climbing and rough paws provide excellent grip. The word koala means no water. As the name suggests, koalas drink very little water. Because they get enough moisture from the eucalyptus leaves they eat. They eat up to 1 kilogram of eucalyptus leaves each day. There are about 700 different types of eucalyptus in the world. But koalas only feed 40 to 50 types of eucalyptus. With acute sense of smell, koalas can differentiate different types of eucalyptus. Number 9, Kangaroo. The amazing kangaroos are only found in Australia. They found in variety of habitats including forests, woodlands, grassy plains, and savannas. There are four types of kangaroos, red kangaroo, antelopine kangaroo, eastern grey kangaroo and western grey kangaroo.
all are endemic to Australia. Kangaroos are the national symbol of Australia. Interestingly, there are more kangaroos than humans in Australia. The red kangaroo is the largest species of kangaroo and the largest terrestrial mammal of Australia. An adult red kangaroo has a length between 1.3 and 1.6 meters and weighs up to 90 kilograms. Kangaroos are the only large mammals that use hop as the main method of locomotion. With long, powerful legs kangaroos can cover a distance of 15 feet in a single hop. The female kangaroo has pouches where newborn, undeveloped babies called joeys stay for about 9 months, until they develop enough live in the outside world. Kangaroos are extremely social and live in groups called mobs or herd. Typically a mob of kangaroos contains 50 or more members. Kangaroos are herbivorous animals. They feed on leaves, flowers, ferns, insects, and grasses. All right, guys. All right, so that's just a little bit of facts for you all. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I'm going to pause this. Okay. So go ahead today and upload. Good day, mate. Welcome good day, mate. to Australia. On, You're not going to find animals like this anywhere else in the world. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead on today and <laughs> upload your um, design. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, you're going to do your progress today, okay? And let me know if you have any questions.